Hey, Sugar Poultry here. I'm making a quick video showing my progress on my Zelda Skyward Sword cosplay. So, this is the materials and stuff I have so far. Um, I guess I'll start with the pants. I found these at DI, Desert Industries. It's a thrift store that's very popular in Utah and Idaho, if you don't know what it is. Um, really nice pants, perfect color. Boots are a little darker than I wanted, but they're actually like kind of a perfect shape. And they're even girls' boots, but they ended up working. Um, the armbands. Everything's really dark in this video, but this is these are actually like a very nice vivid blue in the, in the light. Those are going to go... Those are from the last uh, Zelda costume I made. This is the scabbard. Um... It's made out of foam, and let's see, it's made out of foam, it's made out of th several different types of foam, um, the embellishments and stuff like that are made out of clay, and I just painted it gold, it needs another coat, this isn't quite done. The sword comes out, there it goes, so here's the sword. Um, it's been abused by my daughter already, but um, I only made it one-sided. I don't know if the sword's got designs on both sides, but um, the handle's made out of clay um, and epoxy sculpt, just kind of built around it. Um, this little middle part is actually a, uh, um, what's it called? Christmas ornament, and then it's got real ribbon on the handle and the epoxy sculpt on the edge, on the end, and then a really crappy Triforce in the middle, and the blade. The blade on this side is actually nicer, but uh, like I said, my daughter's abused it. She stepped on it, she's thrown it around, and whacked it, but it's it's for, you know, display only. It's not like a, a real sword or anything, but I'm glad it fits in the scabbard just nice. Um, these are the belts that I just finished sewing last night. It's the belt that goes around the waist and the belt thing that goes around like the chest. Here's the middle piece. Um, it fits perfectly. I'll demonstrate that now. Okay, so I'm going to be demonstrating the little belt that I made. Um, I've never made a belt before, so this was a Totally new experience. So, it can go either way. I usually just tuck this in because he doesn't really have a piece hanging off there on the end. And this is the harness and everything. Um, let's see. Oh. I think this is Miss Suede material. I'm not entirely sure. But it just comes up around, there's a little button that snaps in the middle. So, these will be gone <laughs> for the real, <laughs> for the real costume. But, um, yeah, so it's got a little belt here that will hold the scabbard and the sword up, which I'll demonstrate next time once I figure out how to get it to sit right against my back. Um, here's shields. <laughs> this is the one I made last a uh, couple years ago, like three or four years ago for the Twilight Princess. It's made out of um, cardboard, fun foam, um, and it's been painted. It's been abused a lot over the years. You can see the edge has been um, bashed in. It's been hanging up on the wall and it's fallen down. Um, <clears throat> it really does need to be refurbished, but um, I was going to use this for when I hang the scabbard on my back. I can just hang this on there easily because the metal shield is extremely heavy. Um, that one will probably be used in most pictures that I take and video and stuff because it's higher quality and it'll probably, um, <clears throat> you know, make for better videos. Um, here we have some other little uh, accessories that I made and uh, bought. Um, first, I'll start with the pouch. The pouch is made out of plas um, 
pleather. <laughs> it's really flimsy. I'm going to fill it up with foam so it kind of keeps its, um, you know, its shape. It's uh, reinforced with some styrene inside to keep it from like collapsing on itself. And I made it so that the bottles oops, can fit inside. It fits two bottles. It's really heavy, but it actually works really well. Um, the bottles, I'll put a link in the description on where I got them. Um, right now it's just, you know, uh, food coloring in water, but I've got the three main potions. Um, I'm probably going to put more edible potions in there so that I can actually drink them. My fail of a heart piece, <laughs> I can't sew hearts apparently, but oh, whatever, it's a prop, it's funny. The chain mail I'm working on, right now this is the section that's going to go around one of his arms. Um, it's going to hang off the edge of the tunic. Um, it's taken me like two hours to do this piece so far, um, total. Um, these are not like the super industrial, medieval grade um, rings. Like they're actually really easy to bend. Um, so I <laughs> just got them at Joanne's Fabrics and I have several more packages. I'm probably going to have to go back for more because I have a lot of chain mailing to do. Um, and here I have a wig, but it's not a good wig and it's crappy and I'm probably just gonna buy a new wig. Here I have my little rupees bag. Open it up and out pop rupees. I got these from Chinook Crafts on Etsy. The link's in the description. Um, they're really cute. I wish I had more. They only have these, these well, I think they have more colors, but I wanted to keep it simple, and these will go into a, a, the second bag that I'm making the same way. But yeah, I have rubies, and they're perfect. I know some people are going to be like, they're not life-size, because the life-size ones are like this big, but honestly, I'm not carrying around those. These are more practical. So, yeah, that's my cosplay so far. The tunic is tough. I kind of tabled it for now. Um, but now that I'm finished with almost everything else, I'm going to start on it again. And then I have my husband, um, tunic to do, which is a lot easier. In fact, I think I'm going to skip over mine and work on his next. Because he's going to be Groose. And his tunic is very simple. Just, uh, pretty straightforward. This is where I've been doing all my sewing in my basement. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I'm really excited. This is a really fun project. Um, so I have the tunic, the hat gonna get wigs, um, my husband's costume, and then um, finish the chain mail. And also my daughter is gonna be dressed up as Zelda. I think I decided I'm gonna try to do Sky Skyloft Zelda, where she's wearing, you know, normal outfits and stuff. The goddess one would be fun, but she doesn't have long hair and I'd want to put like those little gold things in her hair, but whatever. So That'll be really fun, a family cosplay, and there's some local anime conventions and a few other medieval conventions and renaissance fairs and stuff that are coming up this summer, and I think I'm going to make us all dress up and go, because <laughs> I think that'd be really fun. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.